Hi, my name is Katia, and in this video, we're be going to be covering Unit 9 of the AP CSA Java Curriculum and talking about inheritance. So, inheritance is when you derive objects based on other objects. So, for example, if you have an animal class and you also have an elephant class, your elephant class might inherit or extend the attributes and methods generalized in the animal class. Um, this would create a hierarchy in which the superclass is the class being inherited, so in this case the animal class, while the subclasses are the ones inheriting the ones at the top. So the subclass would be the elephant class. Like I said before, to inherit a class you use the extends keyword. Um, in your class definition you say public class name extends the name of your superclass. This will inherit all public methods and instance variables from the superclass. It will not, however, inherit the constructor. Constructors will not be passed down to the subclass, but you can call the constructor of the superclass by using the keyword super. Um, and if the super constructor is not called, the Java will call the default constructor of the parent class automatically. Um, super can also be used, the keyword, to call the superclass's methods as well. So this is a UML diagram of what an inheritance hierarchy would look like. In this case, picture would be our superclass and photograph and painting would be our subclasses. Um, picture has title price, photograph also has title price as their instance variables and painting has the same. An inheritance overriding methods is when a method has the same signature, um, so like the same name and the same parameters as a method in the superclass the method in the subclass will take precedence and override it. This is important, let's say, if you have a specific method in the parent class that maybe is different for the specific subclass you want. When you do make an object of that kind, the method that you have just created will take precedence. So, also in inheritance, there's something called polymorphism, which is when you assign an object of a subclass to a reference of the superclass. So for example, in our previous um, UML diagram, we had picture, so we would, if we wanted to show an example of polymorphism, we would write um, picture, my picture equals new photograph. This is when we store a photograph object to a reference of picture, which is its superclass. You cannot do the opposite, it will throw you an error, um, so you want to have the reference be the superclass and the object be the subclass. And to override a method from the superclass, you can also write at override above the method in the subclass.